hello guys welcome to boxing block center the home of nigerian african boxing and please if you're new to this channel make sure you click the like and of course the subscriber right now prestissimo i know some of you guys have kind of asked me to stop saying the home of nigerian african boxing that's just keep it box block center well i think you guys some of you guys will say that i knew because I don't think he was here in 2015, 2017 when uh, there were hardly any uh, African or Nigerian that reported about boxing. And even if they did or tried, they weren't, they didn't, they weren't getting the interaction. You know, the audience went there. One, the thing is that Americans are very homogeneous in a way. Same as Brit Br British people. They're like, they're very to themselves. So, um and in, in those countries most of them believe that they know more about boxing than anyone else in the world which is very very wrong i myself i'm a boxing historian okay i grew up on boxing because my first sport was football what you guys call soccer but i always loved boxing because back in the days one of an uncle of mine was a boxer you know an amateur boxer wouldn't really make it at all because it wasn't a cool thing to be a boxer in Nigeria then. At that time, you tell your parents you, you want to become a boxer, you will get badly beaten up because they want you to be an engineer, a lawyer. Um, They want you to be like a doctor or something like that. It's not just Nigerian thing. I don't know about be it being african thing but i know nigerian parents they push you to over your limit but they want you to be a great persona in life which in some cases you can say yeah it is a good thing it's not a case not really because you can't really force someone to be what they want to be but i understand that when i look at look at my parents and i look at how it was back then and look at now i think they went that wrong because now you see so many news, so many people with no direction in life and some of them can't even read and write. Some of them can't, don't even know what, they, what, they, what they're doing and where they're going to. It's just, it would affect Africa society more. So I think we need to keep that culture in terms of being disciplined our, our kids. Not, I mean, not beating them, but like giving them that mental discipline, pushing them to become something um you know um something in life you know and not become a nuisance and one of those girls that check their ass and an ig or stuff like that you know what i mean uh i don't want to say the word but you know the t word so now let's get straight to it right here so um the two-time unified working of the universe attorney joshua omar unified working um reunited with uh lawrence o'coli wow man former wbo cruiserweight champion o'coli lost and disappeared o'coli and joshua used to be very close but something happened o'coli joshua of course inspired o'coli's journey i interviewed o'coli on this channel one time but i can't find the interview anymore i don't know why i have posted it here but somehow i can't find it very strange very weird so um yeah like of course you have four people here uh persons of different characters the lady is uh, the lady uh, name is uh dj copy in nigeria basically she is nigerian um she's the daughter of a nigerian billionaire whom Joshua recently met up with in Dubai and uh, Monaco. You know, there's a, they've been uh, close since Joshua got into the, the limelight, you know. Now, you have Dere De Boy Chisora there. That's the, the dawn, man. And he posted something very interesting here. Right here. He, he posted this, this picture on a social media platform everywhere basically 
he said Africa's with a quote Africa's finest with a comment African finest and then so you started seeing all these uh ignorant uh Brits uh these are basically some of them are still living in the past of you know during you know British uh, Britain Great Britain colonized half of the world basically so the descendants of those people that still carry such mindset don't really want to see you you have to understand that Great Britain also introduced uh what you call in America the basically the um elimination of of African Americans uh original language because when when those people were captured in the shores of Africa they were basically like stripped of their identity because they needed to do that in order for them to not basically create chaos or call like nowadays it's cool to be Mexican in America nowadays it's cool to be Chinese it's cool to be it's good to be Asian American it's good to be that but at the time of slavery when which black people suffered the most it 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 uh, the, 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 the 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 Europeans then they did what we call elimination of one's identity the language we were taking from them some of them voluntarily wanted to be like massa for sure you still see them nowadays that's why you see so many there's so many confusions in the african-american uh, community right now in terms of some say they are black american some say they are african-american some say they are hebrew they don't say they are jewish some say they are native american i don't know man it's all complicated but when i look at the history of america I, I, i'm talking about from the beginning okay i'm not talking about uh some straight i'm talking about before the europeans before the europeans uh invaded that uh, invaded the land and took, took it over from the natives okay i don't see those those people that were there those those native americans those aborig abor aboriginals when i look at them um of course they might have migrated there but they are the original originals they are they own the land basically those lands they own it so now uh the thing about black british or african british is that an african an african an african british can literally trace his ancestry to a uh, a particular, uh, particular country in africa why the african americans a lot of them can trace their their, their lineage to a country after a of uh dna test like water for example Deontay Wilder water traces lineage to nigeria and traced is basically ancestral he traced his um his ancestral lineage to to Benin kingdom so is Edo by tribe ancestrally but we know water was born in alabama in the south and we know that the south and the north of america there was a civil war between those two people yeah these are these are the same people basically but one wanted to keep being the oppressor over the other it's just men fight for power and you have to know before europe became peaceful there's always been wars the French didn't like the, the English. The the Scots the Scots didn't like the English. Doesn't even now the Scots, despite being Great Britain, made up of four countries: Wales, England, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. Despite all that, the Scots and the and the English still clash heads, even though the English basically um supersedes the Scots. You know they took over the they basically minimize the scots influence they had to assimilate the scots into the 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 kingdom because they used to be the king of scotland basically 
And I mean, I'm an historian. I love history. I was born in history. My my name is my son name is history itself, basically. So you know, being born uh, in the ancient city of Benin, you're just just born into history. You're born into culture. You're born to learn about your identity. Like I can I can still I can trace my lineage over 500 years back. I can trace my lineage because of the ancestral greeting that my forefathers established which means anybody that has if i meet somebody from my place and the person you know and i and i if the person's older than me i greet the person in in with my with my lineage greeting the person will know exactly the lineage i'm from the family i'm from it's just one of those things my forefathers established I think there's also like something like this in other African countries. I don't know, but in my place it's like that. But what I'm trying to say right now, you see all those guys living in past glory. The reason why I needed to do this video is because when Joshua, we I think we should go way back. Now, when Joshua was in Team Team GB, Team GB, yeah. And he was arrested with cannabis, basically. Daily Mail, the same Daily Mail, they've deleted that that post a long time ago. They wrote then they wrote that Joshua is. Uh, they described Joshua as the son of the the Nigerian the son the the son of Nigerian parents born in Britain. That is how they described. Anton Joshua, the son of Nigerian parents born in Britain. The son of Nigerian parents. <clears throat> they didn't describe him as British at all. There was nothing like that. But after I became an Olympic uh, gold medalist in 2012, Joshua became just British. What I'm saying is that the British media, I'm not accusing the British people. We know there are lots of weasels in britain we just like these guys crying and saying that why don't you do this for africa why don't you do this africa is a goddamn continent and also some people don't understand that why when you look up london for example have there are many homeless homeless people there not everybody has it easy the government doesn't really care about some people you pay a lot of taxes, which is not which is normal. You pay tax, but they overcharge you for many things. The life is expensive. You are just living. You're just working. Work, sleep, eat, repeat. Work, sleep, eat, repeat. The same thing, basically. So for those that have it a little bit easier, are those that that ventured into different uh, businesses or you know to. Aaron extra catch. So, and then you see this guy commenting, Lee Aldi saying, "Go home, then you're English." So, and it's funny that you can be, you don't want. This is why the African Americans were the. Their identity, the 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 their the various tribes they came from in Africa when they was were captured, got eliminated completely. It was eliminated completely, completely, so that they wouldn't be able to trace their lineage, so that you wouldn't have things like this. But the Black British is very uh, African British, or because they are also uh, Jam Black Jamaican or British, basically Jamaica itself the jamaicans themselves are from the continent of africa same thing british did there eliminate their 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 their, their, lang their african languages even though jamaica still kept a little bit i think haiti is the one that surprised me the most because haiti haiti haiti, haiti kept they still kept some of the languages um they spoke um and also, you see, like a lot of the Haitians came come from, um, were taken from uh, Benin Republic. Yeah, 
because then you have some things they have something similar you know the worship what they worship and stuff like that now when you win you are british when you lose you are not chizora is as as he was born in zimbabwe chizora is a very straightforward guy he loves he loves britain he loves zim africa it's just what it is so i think this guy should grow up and and stop being babies they are babies and this is what happens when you don't teach people history and they don't learn from it when they are too entitled that's what happens anyways i don't want to prolong this video because uh there are so many things i can address right here because if i go if i go back deep to history it will be too long the video will be too long but i'm happy that joshua and uh okoli um reunited though um let's see what they've got going at okoli man since he left joshua he just he just like some he lost and everything and and also i hate this about boxing that if you lose then people do not, no longer rate you that is very wrong man anyways guys give us below is an african finest even though copy i'm not a fan of copy at all i don't like her. i don't like copy at all i have a, i have my own my reasons there are things that things she did some time back that not made me a fan anymore nigerians forget easily that's one thing about nigerians i don't forget things like that that she did it was during the answers uh yeah we we'll, uh, more let me not address that man we'll talk about that god bless you guys cheers and the life them with all our clothes on